Oh, welcome back to Australia. Big day today, I've got to go. It is pissing rain. I've got to go and get uh, an MRI on my brain because of, you know, the whole tumor thing. Um, pretty lucky because, you know, I came home and the next day, literally the next day is my scan. So, you know, I was pretty desperate that I make it back. Uh, so I've got to drive out. It's at a different hospital that I normally go, which is annoying because it means I have to go right into the city and like pay for parking and all that fucking jazz of being in the city centre, which sucks. But I bought new Birkenstocks yesterday. Look at this. So I'm like, Jesus. But now I've got to wear them in. I'm wearing in Birk sucks. Mine just wore out over the past like year and I just left them in Europe, like in a hotel room with BIM. Um, so yeah, let's cruise out and get this scan. I have no idea when the results is. It's, I think it's either this afternoon or tomorrow. And I sent an email to my doctor being like, hey, when the fuck's this appointment? Because uh, I can't find the time for it, but it'll be somewhere. I'll figure it out. I haven't driven on the right side of a car for a while now. <laughs> it took me so long to get used to driving on the left. And now that I'm on the right, I guess I'm going to stuff this up as well. And I'm out of fuel, so that sucks. <sighs> Still a piece broken on this car. And it's been broken for literally months now. Oh, I didn't think the door was going to go up then. I was like, oh no. It's been broken for months, but I've been booked in to do it. But then I went away and I just didn't get it done. And I've got to fix It's like the air conditioning, uh, like a bearing on the air conditioning pump. Apparently it's not too hard to replace, and it's not that expensive, only a few hundred dollars. I've already paid it, what sucks. Um, and it's not fixed, but we're going into Australia, it, although it's depressing out there today because it's pissing rain. Um, going into Australian summer, it might be, might be somewhat crucial. Let's go back here and see how much it's raining. But it is nice to be home. Um, this bit of a vlog is gonna be, you know, a bit of, bit of everything, a bit of like, you know, coming home, getting my results and hopefully depending on how I do it with my doctor these results whether it's in person or on like zoom I'll take you through that too so you know you see how it works and if I get bad results or good results or whatever but I get these scans I used to get them every three months and this one I pushed a bit longer because I was away in Ukraine filming whatever um, and it's basically to check up on the brain and see what the hell's going on in there um, some doctors say this is useless because I'll have a like a um, something go wrong, like a deficit on my right arm before they'll even see it, the scan. But I guess a peace of mind, it's nice to know, like at least because there's no real treatment for me at the moment. Well, there is no treatment for me at the moment, um, other than like a super invasive surgery, which is questionable if it even helps. Um, I guess it gives me the feeling of I'm doing something at least, you know, at least maybe it'll be in luck somewhere. So we'll see. Um, but I better set Google Maps and see where the hell. Where the hell I'm going to find this MRI? I got my MRI. It went way quicker than usual. And I asked, I'm like, this seems a lot faster. And he's like, yeah, all, well, the two MRI machines at this place I went just got like a huge software update. And he's like, the images are way better and it's also way faster like for the patient. Um, and he said it's a bit easier to work with on their end. But I don't know nothing about that, but he did say too. There's only eight machines in the whole world that have like this technology in them currently with the, this update, and two of them are here. So I'm incredibly lucky to be in a small city. You know where I live is about 1.2 million people ish, so a small ish city, uh, and I'm pretty lucky to have uh, something like that. I didn't know when my appointment was, and I just got an email, and my appointment to get my results isn't for like 10 days or longer. It's it's like dead on like two weeks. So that sucks. Um, but I'm so used to these right now. I used to have like really bad like scan anxiety, like between getting the scan and getting the result. I used to have like mad anxiety about like, is this the one that's gonna kill me? And now I've just sort of, I don't know, I've got used to it and I've sucked it up and I'm like, well, fucking whatever. Like if it, if it happens, it happens. If it does, like one of these has to go wrong at some point. Like all of, all these scans have been positive, you know, not much change or little change or whatever. But at some point it, it's destined as, as much as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow morning, that one of these has to go wrong at some point and i've just sort of accepted it now i don't even know how i've just whatever um probably because i've moved on to other things and i'm just like focused pre-focused other places i don't know is that weird but so a couple of weeks i'll get the results you'll be seeing this with that so that's weird uh but i guess the next part of the video will be then the scan results <laughs> 
G'day guys, I hope you're well. Um, the introduction to this was mainly me going to get my scan, my MRI, the monthly, sorry, six monthly thing I get. It's normally three months, but we've pushed to six because I've been very busy. Uh, but I just got off a, a telehealth appointment like on Zoom with my neurosurgeon, uh, Professor Amal, and I'm pretty much here to share your results. So this uh, was really the first time I've seen any change in this tumor since the chemotherapy But she did say look it's so slight of change really don't be concerned about it Which is good. She said there might be some slight growth up around the top. I will have the scan on um, on screen here uh, that sort of uh, Piece that's sort of foggy. That's the tumor in my in my left frontal lobe of my brain And she just said look there's no change uh, in size like dramatically and no change in um sort of what grade of the tumor is in my head so that is i guess good news she did say whatever you're doing keep doing it because this is still good news um you know these things can go zero to 100 very quickly and then gave as always the surgeon always gives a little bit of a rundown of look eventually this will go you know worse and worse and worse and the next steps is we may have to go into a surgery or a biopsy to see what's going on or whatever but at this point no need to panic about that uh, and I'll see you in another couple of months for another scan. So that is good news. There's always a little bit of um, anxiety coming into this because you don't know. You don't know how bad uh, it could possibly be, like the news. So that is uh, that is in all intents and purposes good news. It's only a very quick meeting, not much, not much else than that. Um, something that I will be doing as well, and I've thought about this for a while now, and I've been you know, really sort of um, going over this in my head for months now is changing my instagram and youtube youtube name you know willie beating cancer was you know where i started my my instagram mainly and then my youtube that had a lot to do with my health and that's what it was i started this to track my health that's that's where it started it started because when i first got diagnosed whatever there was so many people trying to contact me to find out what was going on for family and friends and work and all this stuff that i was like i don't want to talk to all of you i've got so much going on i'm just going to post like a update you know every day or every week or whatever it was and fill you in and just sort of a, like a frequently answered questions because i didn't have time to do it and that was when i was getting a lot of updates and a lot going on and where the primary thing in my life i guess was that uh now i feel like you know i don't want to let that control my life it's it's a part of me but it's not everything it's, and it's not definitely not you know you see the content i make at the moment i'm uploading stuff at the moment um and been working on this all day but you see it's so different to that it's not, not about that at all um so i've sort of decided that i'm stepping away from that into just being me and what i do it's not going to be ruled by this because i don't want it to rule any part of my life so i hope you understand that um so yeah i hope this wasn't too boring this is different but i will be doing one of these every time because it is a big part of um, my life can control a lot and i know a lot of people are interested um and i'm open and honest about it so any questions just let me know but thank you so much i really appreciate it um look after yourself stay healthy um and good news uh good news from this side, side of the shit so cheers i'll, I'll see you soon